Surely at some point all of you have taken a glass of water while doing dishes, tipped it up, tipped it upright in the dish pan so that the glass fills with water, and then lifted the glass up out of the water while keeping the mouth of the glass in the water. Something is holding this water up. You know that gravity would make this water want to flow out and be at the same level as the dishpan, yet it's not. Why not? What's holding this water up? Air pressure. Air pressure is pushing down on the surface of the water. It's pushing, the air pressure is pushing against the side of the container. The air pressure transferred through the water is pushing on the bottom of the dishpan and air pressure is transferred and pushed up against the mouth of the glass holding this level of water up. Let's take a look at a video using a burette instead of a glass which will allow us to open the top. A burette has been filled with water and is going to be topped off so that it will be full right to the top. Then a finger placed over top and the burette is turned upside down into the beaker of water. Notice that the water stays up in the burette. The burette is closed. And now let's take a look at what happens when the burette is opened and air is allowed to flow into the top of the burette. You can see that the water level drops down. So as you just saw in the video, a burette closed at the top will maintain water inside the burette because air pressure pushing down is actually holding this column of water up and not allowing it to drop back down and fill and perhaps overflow the beaker. When the burette is opened, air is able to flow in through the tip of the burette and now air is in this tube. Once it's closed again, the level will maintain its position here. Now we have gas, that's actually air, inside the tube and we have air outside the burette. The air outside is pushing downward. The air inside the tube is pushing. And at this point, we can see that the air is winning the push-pull of this column of water because the air is holding the column above the level of the water. And when the burette is opened again, notice that the water level will drop right down to the surface of the liquid. After the burette is opened again, you can see that the gas or air will be allowed into the burette until the levels are even. Now the burette is closed and as it's lowered in the beaker, the water level inside the burette is below the water level of the beaker. Next you could see in the video, after the burette was closed off again, and the burette is pushed down into the beaker of water, notice that the gas is able to hold back air pressure. So that means right now air is pushing down, gas, which happens to be air, inside the burette is pushing down, and this time the gas has higher pressure. The gas inside is winning this battle of the levels of water so the gas pressure now inside is greater than the air pressure outside. The burette is still closed. Watch carefully as the burette is lifted above 
the level of the water. And then you saw the burette could be lifted up out of the beaker and now the level of water will be up. This time the air is winning. The air is holding this column of water up above the surface and so the pressure, air pressure, is greater than the gas pressure. The closed burette is pushed back down. Now watch carefully as the burette is open and you'll see the water level, there it goes, rises back up to the level in the beaker. The levels will be even. Now one more time the burette is lifted up and opened again. The level falls down and while the burette is still open, notice as the burette is lifted up and down with air able to come and go out the top of the burette, the level will stay even with the water until, as you see here, the burette has been closed again and now opened. So what's the bottom line here? We want to measure gas in a closed container when the levels are even. This is because in this scenario the air is holding a column of water up and the air pressure would be greater than the gas pressure. Here the gas is holding up the column of water and the air pressure would be less than the gas pressure. The gas would be more. And only in this scenario here can we know what the pressure inside is. We know that the gas pressure inside will be equal to the air pressure outside. So if we have a way to measure the air pressure we know that it will be equal to the gas pressure.